nice find, you little cannibal. I still wasn't well enough for trekking, so Clay and I teamed up with a Swiss couple and headed to the Nuber Valley. But first, we would have to cross the Cardung Wa. We're at the top of Thurung Wa Pass. Possibly, or probably not the highest motorable pass in the world, though they say it is. And then it was down into the Nuber Valley for a stop at the Diskit Monastery, which date back to the 14th century. The 32 meter high Maitreya Buddha was the 2006 edition. So we're on our way to what? Carly, I can barely hear you. You're breaking up. Are you talking about how much you were looking forward to riding the Bactrian camels because of the two day camel safari you did in Rajasthan years ago? You must be. But then I found out that you pretty much get put on a camel and led around by a, a guy for 15 minutes and there's all these crowds and um, so, oh well, it'll still be fun. Thank you, Camel, for the good ride. Long day's work, eh? <laughs> we found ourselves at a guest house run by two ex-teachers. Clay once again proved that music is the best way to make friends. The next day we headed back to Lai, but were slowed down by road work and army convoys. Traffic is stopped and now we have a helicopter! At this altitude, all of the snack bigs, just uh, super high pressure. After a night in Lei, we were on the road again to Pengong Lake. We headed over Changla Pass, one of the two passes in Ladakh that claimed to be the second highest in the world. Modern mapping systems put Changla higher than even Kardangla, but there are still a whole eight passes that are actually higher. There's a link in the description with my source if you are curious about what those passes are. Pingong Lake lies on the India-Tibet border at 4,350 meters. Its lack of outfall makes the water too saline to support much aquatic life, but it is an important breeding ground for birds. It's very beautiful, but once again, my camera was distracted by the animals. Okay, I shouldn't crouch now. <laughs> I'm 
they obey traffic rules. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh, Julie, look at this one. This is a raster one. I have to smoke a little bit more before. <laughs> so we decided to do a homestay here, and I like it. It's quite reminiscent of the days where I was traveling a lot more on the Jeep. See, nice little charismatic groove. Then it was back over the pass and back to Lay to start prepping for our first trek. And now it's time for the channel of the week. I'd like to give a shout out to Spegerpoos for his fantastic, amazing, hilarious Dutch outdoorsing channel. I asked Google what his name meant and how to pronounce it and apparently it translates to nail polish. So you should all click on his channel and ask him why he chose his name. And also go watch a video too. And there's some other links for you to click on to some of my other stuff um, and that's it. So long and see you next week-ish.